Hey, diff. What is diff useful for? Why why do I care about diff? Diff is for everyone in the entire world that uses GitHub who did that code merge and it came back and said, these two pieces of code can't be merged automatically. Ha ha. You suck. Take your code and fix it. And your boss is screaming at you and everyone else in your group is screaming at you and you have no idea what you're doing. And you're like, oh God, I shouldn't be here. You have imposter syndrome. Diff can fix your imposter syndrome. That's not true, but diff will be a useful tool for you. Nothing's going to fit. No, I'm a terrible person. In any case, uh, what's diff useful for? Um, People who know me are right now laughing, and people who don't know me are horrified. Um, In any case, diff allows you to take the difference between two files. So why are you going to do that? So I'm going to go back up to, uh, I'm going to go back into the text directory here, and I'm going to take the readme. I'm going to copy the readme to, oops, readme.txt. And I'm going to use an editor called nano. Don't You don't need to learn nano. Just And I'm going to randomly change some things here. Hey, look, it's really hard to tell what to change because I just didn't... I made a few changes here, and you don't know where the changes were. And I'm going to put some new white space there. I'm going to put white space there. And I'm going to uh, put an extra enter there. And I'm going to put here, there. Okay, good. That's great. So there, I just changed that file. So you can see from README and from Oops README that these two files are different sizes, so they're not the same file likely. But what you don't know is what changed. Well, the easy way to figure out what changed is to type diff README and Oops README and piped into less, and there are all of the changes right there. You can see with the line numbers in both files, this is the line number in the first file and in the second file, what's the change? And you can see, oh, here, uh, you can see, you just have to visually diff these things. Diff can put stuff out in a left-right format if you want. Diff can put stuff out in all sorts of, like, in nicer-to-read formats if you want some other format. Uh, you can create things called diff files. You can actually apply the difference from one from between two files onto a third, um, which is like cheap git. It's it's okay, but you can see all of the changes that I made within this file, so you can see exactly what's happened. You don't have to eyeball through your files. You can just use diff. Now here's the nightmare scenario, which I'm going to give you right now. Is what if? And I have seen this a million times. Um, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to copy README into Oops README two, and I'm going to do the following. And I think this will work. I'm not sure. We're gonna figure this out the fun way. Um, I want to replace the beginning of the line uh, with a space. I want to replace the first. I want to take the first part of the line and replace that with a space. I'm not sure if that will work. Uh, two piped into less. This may or may not work. No, it didn't work. Um, no, I didn't like that. Um, I'm going to take every line that begins with an A and replace it with a space. No. Um, unterminated substitute pattern. Um, oh, what am I doing? Uh, there, sorry. It should be like this because I'm a moron. There we go. Um, And I'm going to actually see if I can just do the beginning of the line now and replace it with a space. There we go. I just indented the whole file by one space. Right there, you can see it. Um, You'll have coworkers and friends and enemies and people that you call colleagues uh, do this to you and you'll hate it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for README and put it into... Uh, oops, read me too. There we go. Good. And so if I diff read me and oops, read me too. Okay, this is going to be easy to diff because I can just, oh no, what happened? The whole file is different. It's literally giving me, you can see the arrows. So this is the, I just diff the read me. Oops, sorry, the read me and the oops, read me. And if I do that again, these, this is all from the read me. And if I scroll down, this is all from Oops Read Me. Why why are they different? Why are they because it's white space. They literally are different because of white space. And that's this happens all the time and it's so obnoxious. So the best thing to do in diff, which I do all the time, is I do this. Those two flags ignore white space changes. Because in diff and I know there's 
I know for Python you care about white space changes, but for a lot of other languages or file formats you don't, and even in Python sometimes you don't. So I'm going to ignore the white space changes, and there, there's no difference at all. So if I go into Oops Readme 2, and I go down, and I again just change a few things here and there. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go like, da, 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 and then jump down here and go da da, and then all the way down here and put an extra. There we go. There, I changed it. So those few changes you really care about, and you're not going to get them with a regular diff, but with the white space ignoring diff, there's your changes right there. And you can see exactly what happened. So there, you can use diff to uh, compare two files. You can also use diff to compare two directories. So if I were to do the following, if I were to, um, and I'm going to, so I'm in texts. So if I were to go copy dash a, so I never actually taught copy. I'm assuming that you know move and copy. If you don't know move and copy, move moves a file and copy copies a file. I'm going to copy dash a means recursively and keep all the timestamps. Uh, texts to uh, other texts. Good. So now I have two directories, texts and other texts. If I LL texts, it looks like that. And if I LL other texts, it looks like that. They're identical. They're completely identical directories. Um, however, what if I in other texts, CD other texts, and I move oops, read me to on to read me, and I remove, okay, okay, and then I remove in texts I go up a directory, oh, oops, uh, I go up a directory and I uh, uh, remove uh, readme, I'm sorry, texts, oops, readme2, good, cool, now I have two directories, texts and other texts, let's ll other texts, and let's ll texts, and they look identical, they look completely identical. How do I diff all of the files between these two directories to figure out which ones changed? I just diff recursively texts and other texts. This is going to diff all of the files in both directories. And again, oh god, I have this, oh no, everything's changed. Okay, I need the black and white flag. Boom, right there. Cool, you got it, that's, that's awesome. And what if there's a file in one directory that isn't in the other one? Okay, let's, uh, let's copy uh, texts dot readme, uh, text readme, into texts dot no, no, no. There we go. Okay, now there's a new file in text called no, no, no. If I diff the two directories, it'll tell me that only in text there's a file called no, no, no. It doesn't even diff it because that, direct, that file only exists in the one directory. That's it. That's diff. Diff is really fast. Diff is really easy. Um, so that's all I was going to tell you about diff. Um, uh, there's not much else to tell, so that's it. Thanks, guys. Um, our next lesson is going to be on, uh, I don't know, it's going to be on some Linux bullshit, I guess, I don't know.